Bro, I mess with Jimmy Heavy. I ain't going live, bro. I mess with Jimmy Heavy, bro. Especially in like, um, what is it? Uh, um, the pre, not preseason, bro. But celebrity week or like All Star week, I don't know what it's called, bro. But he, he will always have his hairstyle is some crazy, bro. <laughs> like, I think, I think this one he was like bald or like he had patches. Oh, dude, there's one where he went emo and he, he put his side to the side, bro. W Jimmy the chat, bro. W Jimskis. Welcome to California. Better yet, welcome to my house. Dun, 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 dun. Prince, what tabs you? Don't worry about the tabs I got open, bro. I think fancy people call what do you it mean, this a bro? I don't call it that. What? I call it what tab? What's it? What, what tab? Which one? Which one? Which one? What you talking about, bro? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. The beginning of a house, like the, I don't know, but it's not a foyer. It got art. It is a ton of space to do absolutely nothing. This is actually probably hey, the yo? most pointless area How is that tab? House, but how that tab? Hey, yo. You just walk to the front door and then you're here. I'm oh, gonna cut a, my finger with my toenail. The roses. <laughs> okay. Yo, that's those emerald things are kind of fire. The designer I worked with. Tiffany. Tiffany Brooks Interior. I was just telling her, yo, get freaky with it. And she came in here and really fucked some shit up. I'm very hey. impressed. Uh, I think I said I just want freaky like, with it. It to be really, really, really light. Like I want all this natural light. I want white walls, light floors, pretty get freaky couches with it. and stuff. I didn't ask for this table though. She put that there. I probably take a lot of credit for it now that I think about it. Like when people ask, oh, what'd you do to the house? I was like, I put a table in this room, a piano over here. It was Tiffany that did it. This is like my did you live Tiffany music shots? room. When I say live music room, I mean, if any of my musical friends are coming over, this is where we set them up. If and when we have karaoke, AD, everybody's invited. I will outperform anybody. I may not sound the best, but I guarantee I put on a great show. Oh, I did karaoke. karaoke I did karaoke one time, bro. I, 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 and I'm not the fastest reader. I ain't gonna lie, bro. And I was struggling. And I did. I, I did a fast song. You know what I'm saying? Which is on me. You know what I'm saying, bro? And I was like always like two words behind, bro. It was awful, bro. I was stressing out. My family was just like all. Oh, they were having fun. I ain't gonna lie. They were laughing and shit, bro. They thought, bro, and I was mad drunk too. Oh, it was a bad time, bro. But then this other time, I did karaoke at like a bar, and yo, I was schmizz, bro. Yo, I, I, I thought I, I thought I did good. I ain't gonna lie. But looking back at the videos, <laughs> looking back at the videos, I did, it, it was not as good as I thought I was doing in my head, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Right now, this second, uh, a bar <laughs> song. Everybody, yeah, that one. And if we like all time, everybody in the club getting uh, tipsy. Mario, Mario, however you want to say it, let me love you. You Let's should you. let me love you. Okay, good songs, good songs. I ain't gonna lie, good songs. This is the kitchen. That's my baby's chair right there. My daughter's seat, my significant other seat. That's a lie. I'm single, ladies. Holla at me. Y'all see my house. <laughs> so Time normal shit. morning, afternoon, indoor dinner. We don't really sit down. Well, the kids do. We all stand up and eat, like black people do. It's like we have chairs. We just don't use we them. We just don't use and them. And we just make a complete utter mess of food that. all on the floor from the kids. At one point in time, we all have to understand that we are our kids, bitches. If you're a parent, whatever the kids say, you just have to do. So we could have full blown steak and potatoes, and then Riley's like, I want spaghetti. And then fucking Riley gets spaghetti, because I'm a little bitch. <laughs> Damn, bro. yo, you might, wanna, you might wanna change that, bro. Riley's gonna be taking advantage of you all the time. Ain't gonna lie. This place is called. It's about daddy, daddy, I want a new car. The conservative. <laughs> Riley gets a new car. The reason that I like this space is because like with the floors, I feel like mm -hmm. I'm in Italy, but I'm in California, I'm at home. This, that's gonna fire and go live. It is hot in this room. Between this hot ass window and these Check, windows, it don't snow in California, do it? In here. The chandelier that's up here. It's that shit do look immaculate, bro. It's look beautiful. at that. That's it's those are high ceilings too, bro. Room. Tiffany did design it. She picked the. Uh, Yo, don't be the shots of Tiffany, bro. There's too many shape light bulbs up there. And I just think it's Tiffany being Tiffany, just hella extra for no reason. Hmm. But it's How good job, you... Tiff. Okay. The answer is he probably pays somebody to do it, bro. I was about to say, how do you replace the light bulb when they die? Because that, that, those ceilings are mad high. That's like 20 feet in the air, bro. He probably pays somebody to do it. 
Did great. He's rich. <laughs> Chow, I like your answer to everything, bro. Now Last dude I'm watching Kyle, you guys about he's rich. Wine cellar, which is my new You're trying to sound broke. area of the house. It's the vibe that I was going for, like darker. Yes, definitely. Drink your wine, spill it on the floor. Yeah. You can't really tell because they got all of this dark brick. I'm just a Chris modest. Hoel is. The... I'm a modest rich person. You know what I'm saying? I like. I like. I still. I. I got money. I. I still be shopping at Walmart. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You just because you got money don't mean you gotta spend it. You know what I'm saying, bro? The master sommelier. <laughs> is that how you say it? You're definitely sommelier. Drunk. <laughs> He's the one bro, if you guys watch my YouTube videos, we wouldn't be having this conversation, bro. <laughs> um, all but nah. Wine, and he's the one that helps me to collect all of this expensive grape juice. This is my favorite wine. We got a wine cellar? The greatest Sesakaya. Shouts to y'all. In 2013, Mark we got a wine was in cellar? town filming Transformers. And when we get to his trailer, he's like, hey, do you drink wine? And I was like, no. And then the dude next to me was like, yes, you do. You don't tell Mark Wahlberg that you don't drink wine. And he popped a bottle of 2010 Sesakaya. And that's probably what? the Sesakaya? most collected wine Yo, I, I feel have. like this I got to watch this video like this. I call this the big boy hallway because obviously all the big bottles. That leads to the main part of this wine cellar. I swear, if I hit one of these steps behind me, uh, where all the normal size bottles are, which is behind me. Bro, it looks like a dungeon, bro. Yo, it looks like, it looks like Bruce Wayne's like little, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? This doesn't look real. It doesn't look real, bro. What the heck? Yeah. See that? They see like some of you only see in a movie, bro. That I know where each and every, I definitely didn't know that that last one was a step. Dun, 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 dun. Now we are here. That's we a have lot made of wine. To the Rotunda. Look at this chandelier. There's no way you drink that much wine. Tiffed and did it again. And those are moon rocks. I said it before, I'll say it again. Give you Tiffed right the shot. Straight from Mars. The total seller holds about 20,000, and I think I got like 6,100 bottles in here as we speak. This behind everybody right here, um, you know what? Is that just for decoration? This is my California section. You got the Screaming Eagle over here. And then we're going into Italy. This area is the Bordeaux. Bordeaux is here. This is probably my favorite bottle in here. A 1973 Mouton Rothschild. I know I butchered that because I don't speak French, but Picasso's painting is on here. Picasso. And then from there, we go to back that thing up. You a fine motherfucker, won't you back that thing up? This is also Bordeaux, so keep backing that thing up. Yo, I look at what I see him like do a. This is Burgundy. Do karaoke now, bro. Which, uh, me and Chris Are there videos out there? Take a trip to Burgundy. Chat, somebody find a clip of um of July. A bullet, so, Butler doing karaoke in Burgundy, trying to get much more. From Let's talk about two very, very, very important bottles to me myself. The Code Estranel. I think I said that right. This bottle means a lot to me because Neymar is number ten. And I think they only did 10 of these bottles. So I begged and pleaded with them to give me the 10th bottle. Neymar is a goat, so everything we're doing here is all about number 10. And then this one is called Do Crew. And this one is special because it's from 2019, which is my daughter's birth year. So they put Riley Butler on here. They did 33 of this collection. Guess what number mine is? Any takers? No idea. 10. Neymar again. It's all about Neymar, if you haven't noticed. We're at my domino table slash card table. This is where I be kicking ass. Oh, crazy. I started playing dominoes when I was probably like four. And it's how my dad taught me how to count. And ever since then, I've just been the best at it. Um, I'm not afraid to admit that. Yo, dominoes for the game? People like to I thought you, you just set them up and you knock them over. The best in the world at dominoes. A lot goes on out here. You know, pool. It's an actual game? Band over there, kitchen. I never learned that game when I was young. When I was just a dude. The part about the sand volleyball court is it used to be a tennis court. And then I was like, I don't even fucking like tennis. So I got a great idea. Let's just dump fucking 20 tons of sand on top of it. And then the following summer, you fall in love with tennis. That's how stupid I am. So now I got to figure out a place to put a tennis court. We work out on the sand, just a different way to get ready for the season. Running, volleyball, obviously. Beach tennis is a new thing that we've been doing. And then Beach football. Tennis? So whenever the Brazilians are over here at the house, that's the game Brazilians. that they want to play. And I'm just, I'm, 
I'm not gonna say I'm not good, but it's it's a challenge. I'm not gonna say I've won every time. I'm not gonna say I lost every time either, but it's difficult. I lost every time. I just <laughs> like Southern California because you got all the space that you Bro, need. I just fuck with Jimmy, bro. Like, that nigga funny. Ain't I, like that. I just wanna be around my people. I wanna do what I wanna do and not bother anybody. What better place to do it than Southern California? Yeehaw. I look like Jimmy. Bro, you guys say I look like every black person, bro. <laughs> like, last video, you guys were like, I look like LeBron, which is Cap. This is my spot. This is the first Big Face Coffee Shop here in my own home. I will allow my neighbors to come in here, but for everybody here, coffee will cost you 60 bucks, and I'm not fucking around. We don't take cash here. But I take cash under the table, so. Big Face Coffee is a venture that I really started in the bubble. And it just started out with a, a love of coffee. And since then, I've been able to build this incredible team behind Big Face to help make all of this stuff. Damn, bro, I, wanna, I wish I had a restaurant in my freaking house. This is what I want to be doing. For me, personally, coffee is a lot like wine in the sense that you can never know everything about it. But more than but anything, like, you for sit me, though. down with people that you don't you know get to see every day. And I mean, that's always been my dream. Just chill. And then be free and, and talk to some really good people. This is a custom machine that we did with La Marzocco. That wouldn't work. We got the opportunity I take it back, to bro. visit La Marzocco in Italy. Then and I'll come home and there'll be a bunch of random strangers in my house in was eating this machine, ordering food and, and shit like that. Like, uh, can I please, please, please have one? And they said yes, and now I have it in my own home. I don't think you'll see one of these anywhere else in the United States, by the way. So think about that. One of one. We are in the dining room. In the hood growing up, where you eat at is called the living room, but now that I'm a little bit fancy, I have a dining room. It must be nice. This is where all my cool I have a room. Over and we eat dinner <laughs> and we drink expensive wine. Not because I can't afford it, guys. I have afford money, bro. You and know I what I'm saying? I put my foot up on this chair because I paid Just because you got some money, don't you gotta spend house. it, bro. I like to spend my money wisely. I don't too much in this space besides drink wine. And if my boys are here and I don't want to share my wine that I paid for in my chair, then I don't have to. So I'm in here a lot by myself too. Tiffany did an incredible <laughs> job. With these big paintings right here. I feel like they say something in this area. Tiffany picked these. Tiffany, great, great find, great pick. These are daffodils. Yeah, I'm a botanist. Whatever that means. I'm not even gonna try to improve my vocabulary from there, bro. A botanist? What? Right now, we are on this landing upstairs above the entry slash foyer. These chairs foyer. are cause chairs. Brian's a good friend of mine, so thank you for the chairs, Brian. Oh, foyer. They're out here because they were gonna go in my daughter's room, but then I figured when I wasn't looking, she would draw all over them. So now I can watch her draw on them out here in this beautiful hallway, because I know that's gonna happen. This is my bed. That is custom. Tiffany didn't do that one. I did that. I think it's like nine by something. It's pretty big. Very, very, very comfortable. And then I have a, it's not a strategically placed big face mug back there or anything, but it's a coffee cup back there. I wanted to be able to come hey, in hey, and just relax. Like I don't want too many colorful things. I want it to be very, very, very neutral. I think she overdid it on the, the fancy pillows on the bed. Every day I get into bed, I have to throw all of those off and then put them back on. I mean, the night ritual is my daughter comes running in here from the other room and jumps on the bed because she doesn't want to go to sleep. You Makes know, sense. Like kids do. Then I'm in here watching my show. I could be watching anything. Batman, Superman, um, Money Talks. Ooh, Bad Boys. Love that movie. Fucking Bluey. <laughs> I don't want to fucking watch Bluey at 11 o'clock. You shouldn't even be up at 11. As often as I should get great sleep in my own bed, because of my kids. You saw that he has a great relationship with his daughter. But I love y'all. I really do. This view is really special to me. Once again, I love Europe. I love Italy. And so what am I, I going to have kids? Over the what? Balcony. It's a way to That's say. That's a personal question. I brought Italy to us. I don't know. Because when I get a girl. Up, I didn't even know where Italy was. I was never supposed to make it to go see Italy. So now I can wake up in the morning and I get my own little piece of Italy. It must be nice. I'm trying to see what that be like, my boy. My bathroom. You right, so okay, bathroom. bro? Toilets. Yes, I, I haven't gotten showers. some random girl pregnant yet, bro. Tiffany what? wanted a standalone. That's job. a 
Tiffany got to stand on tub. I feel like that's racist. I'm going to take the credit <laughs> for this one. I did ask for Florida I Steel like Marble, racist. actually. And I knew that this was marble. Young, black, I handsome. did. You know what I'm saying, bro? To start like, on the floor and take ain't, no, ain't no kids. Come I mean, on, I bro. feel like you dirty as hell if you don't. Be the like you have to take showers. So, and I work out consistently. So, I would say I'm in here about... Once a week. If, I, if the kids are taking a bath and you can't leave your kids uncivilized because they just drink the pee water, which I don't even understand why kids do that. So, they're in the fucking tub for 45 minutes. Kids are minutes. stupid. That adds on to the time that I'm in here. I mean, like two showers a day, maybe three, at like 15 minutes, 15 times three, 57, <laughs> yeah, 57 minutes. Jimmy is me, bro. I see the similarities, bro. He said, <laughs> yo, I ain't Thanks gonna lie. Through. Kids must be fed and I must play dominoes. W video, I ain't gonna lie. W video, bro. That 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 was a funny video, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe. I'm trying to I'm trying to have nice things. You know what I'm saying? So watch the full video and and and, and, and leave a comment, bro. You know what I'm saying? Leave a leave a fat, juicy, thick comment so I can uh, I can respond to it. You know what I'm saying, bro? I I see boys in the next one.